The narrow line between success and failure for managers was illustrated by Mark Grew's fingertip save four minutes from time. Mark's played for West Brom, Wigan, Notts County, Leicester City, Oldham, Ipswich, Fulham and Derby County. But I bet Terry Venables wished he'd never heard of him. Tottenham are just going to get it into the box. Moran. There, Clough! Oh, just defending! Alas. Senior. Oh, a good first hand cross from Senior. This is Sterling. Then back to O'Gallon. Porter. What a good save that was. Right on the line by Mark Drew. Trevor Senior who really created the danger then with that fine cross from a tight angle. Sterling turning it back. Allen's had a ball of sneak in. Good save. Allen. And Senior. Good play by him. Sherwood. Sterling again. Senior and Allen in good positions in the centre. saying, come on, come on, this is not over yet. And uh, Marston being booked for the challenge on the goalkeeper. Did send him in a bit of a cartwheel, which Mark Brewer in his current state of fitness would not have appreciated. Stanley had of getting back into the game was boosted by Kevin Francis, who came on a sub to make it 3-2. Bell's survival was due in part to some magnificent goalkeeping by Mark Drew, Dean Saunders denied. Drew again to the rescue as Saunders tried to repeat performance. After the celebrations, the Port Vale players had time to reflect on the fact that they now meet Aston Villa. But their manager, John Rudge, was happy to calculate the value of the effort made at the baseball game.